Okay, it's a good thing. Every time I hear Blizzard and news, I instantly think somebody's just done something horrible. That's where my mindset is right now. That somebody has done something fucking horrible. <sighs> Every single time. That's what I think. I wish that would disappear from my brain. Uh, Wowhead, what have we got here? Wowhead's 22 Pride fundraiser benefiting the treasure project. Oh, that's the advert there. Uh, wow Dragonfly expansion overview. Dragonfly is Wow's new expansion revealed on April 19, 2022. Yeah, Drag Theory Evokers, blah, 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 blah. What is the release date of Dragonflight? No announced release date for... What am I looking for? Well, the Dragonflight Battle.net Battle Net shop page indicates that we will see an expansion launch at some point before December 31st, 2022. What? Why? Why are they rushing it out? We're nearly in July. Uh, my gut instinct is this is really a bad plan. Really? Ninety ninety dollar dues for the epic edition. Time Walker's Hearthstone Toy, Toon Transmog pieces. The Diadem of the Spellkeeper's Helm Transmog. Oh, you're getting a special helmet transmog. And the Wings of Awakening back slot and a backpack. So you're getting wings and a helmet, eh? And five different color variants for each of the dragon flights. All this is a ten dollars more. Uh why? How much was uh Shadowlands? Was Shadowlands ten dollars down on each of those? Uh <sighs> Like, it was, it, so they put the price up as well. You got to release it in the next. I don't understand why they would do this after the cock up that Shadowlands was. I don't get it. History tells us, again, I always look to historic precedent, but this is not a good sign. I don't understand because this feels like a last hurrah. It won't be. I mean, this game will go on forever with, like, forever and ever and ever until there's, like, 20 players left. But for, like, the big numbers and for it to be the big heavy hitter. This feels like it's, it's, it either pays off or this thing goes into the ground for, the, like, the masses. Damn. I mean, that might be just the date they put on the store, Copium, I guess. But uh, I was not expecting to see Jag Dragonflight until next year. Maybe they're not having to make so many systems, it's not as complex to get the game out. Could be that. Then I'm having to piss about with fucking uh, Covenant abilities and all that nonsense. They need to get it out, though, because there's going to be some weird talent. I mean, the biggest thing that they, they need to figure out, at least I'm, I'm, I'm edging back into 12 months ago preach right now, but um, they need the talent system to be rock solid. So that needs to get out now. That alpha and beta needs to get out now so people can piss about with the talent tree a lot. They need a lot of people pissing about with that talent tree because if that talent tree comes out and it's fucking bullshit... And there's some weird, weird interactions that people can make. That's, that's going to be problematic. Like, for the most part, the talent trees we've looked at are kind of similar to what's already in the game. So it's not too bad. God, this makes me just feel so pessimistic. Like, there's not enough content. I mean, what's actually announced as features for Dragonflight so far? Zone reputations... And dragon flying. That's it. Right? Drakthea, we've got a new class, uh, which is just the Evoker, which is Drakthea only. So you get one new new race, which is also a new class to go with it. Dragon flying and zone wide repu zone individual zone reputation things. Right? That's it so far, as far as I know. Uh, five zones. 
the Volker, Dragon Riding, new endgame content, Dungeons, the Raid, Plant Trees, the UI, oh, the Profession Revamp. <laughs> That's it! That's enough? Really? I don't think I'm being a, a, a pissy bitch when I say that's not enough for me. I don't think I'm being a pissy bitch. I'm trying to think, am I being like, casting a mean eye over this? Because I, I don't think I am. There just seems to be not much here. New class is always fun and keep you playing for a bit. New class is always worth checking out, even if it's not your main. It's always worth mess messing about with. Dragon riding, uh, I don't particularly care about it. <laughs> Depends how evolved this system is, where they go with it. So there's going to be eight dungeons, which is the kind of usual amount, I think. Sounds about right. Uh, new raid. Tartry. You're fine. I fear it might be another wad or the workers will be crunched to high hell and back. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. There's just a, Maybe it's just because there's not enough here that excites me. Like the professions revamp. Being able to post stuff differently and do crafting orders. I mean... Sure. Uh, the hood revamp. Don't care. Use my own custom UI. Tartry revamp. I mean, the Tantry revamp is kind of the most exciting thing. But from what we've seen so far, you will be somewhat similar to what you already have. In some cases, you might lose a couple of things. In some cases, you'll gain a couple of things. I wish I could be excited about dragon riding. Might be really fun, but... Uh... Hmm. No. I can't get excited about it. There's nothing I like. I can't wait to try that. I mean, even... I was even super hyped about Islands of Warfronts. <laughs> you know what I mean? We know how they turned out, but when they were announced, I was definitely, like, looking forward to that. Uh, I was very, very excited for it. I was. I think we all were. Like, what, I think we were all very excited about Warfronts. And when they were announced, you know, we were looking forward to Sneaky Pete and all that kind of stuff. I'm actually excited there's just not a lot of stuff in this expansion. Maybe there's folks on balancing and talent trees now. Uh, maybe. This is the conversation I've had with Alex and the other guys, some of the guys from uh, Bald, Fat and Ugly, is like, World of Warcraft on its own is really, really fun. It is. It's the nonsense that comes with it that kind of puts you off playing. So it could be, there is a chance that the fact that there's no dog shit on top of my burger, that it makes it a nice burger again and really fun to play. Could be. It very much could be. Uh, you might be right on that. Like, there's there's still that chance. It's like, as long, without all the, the crap all over it, maybe it's actually really fun. You say there's a chance? There's always a chance. There's always a chance. 100%. There's always a chance. It's like, raiding might now be really, really fun, because I'm not having to swap... Loadouts, talent trees, yeah, like just having, I, my talent trees are already set with their loadouts, so I can make them before I go in. I can mess around with them the first time, and then that's my loadout, and done. But I don't need to change my glyphs, I don't need to fuck about with my armor settings, or which gems I'm currently equipped, and all this kind of shit on top of it. And like, do I have this bonus? Do I have that bonus? Where, which double legendaries do I need to farm outside of the raid in order to even like be competitive with my friends? And that, yeah, yeah. <gasps> And I shut down. Um, I can't raid, you know. I've got to go and do my more. I've got to do my more dailies because it unlocks something in six weeks, which is like some giga power reward. Which is where we've been for a long time. It's like, oh, you've got to do it, though. You, what, are you not going to have all this and that? Mm, like a scrub? Like a casual? So it could be without all that. It's, it's actually fine. It's actually really fun. Who knows? Uh, yeah, it didn't have all that superfluous stuff. More like... dailies, pog. <laughs> Toxic. <laughs> Toxic. 
I hope they make the zones fun because I, I, I think the biggest fear with Dragonflight right now is the people still like fully invested in World of Warcraft are very much used to having a checklist of shit they need to do all the time and they don't have to think about it. They log in, they've got their fucking list of chores that they need to get done. And if that goes away, those people might be like, well, what's the point? What, are we, what am I even playing for? I don't know. Uh, new article about FF16 from Yoshi P. I saw it, actually. We'll check that out the other day. As soon as I saw one dev again, proudly talk about yet yeah, another external system for the game, the invented to make it more fun, I'm out. Uh, well, we've not had that announcement. We've not had that announcement. I've been waiting with bated breath for some sort of announcement that's like, there's this system, right? That we're just going to put in to keep things in line. Because we don't like it when people who love our game get ahead of people who play it twice a week. Don't like that. So we need to sort of hold them back. But at the same time, make it so that people who don't play our game until like five months later don't have to bother with any of this nonsense. Right? Like we need to figure that out some way. <laughs> we need to figure figure out how to do that. So that people who play the game at launch and have fun with it feel like they're wasting their lives. Which is how I felt for the last couple of expansions. Make them progress in other ways, not related to power. That has been the suggestion since... Uh, probably Legion. Yeah, probably Legion when the uh, artifact power came in. It's like, okay... Now you've made it into a mega grind that we consistently have to grind and grind and grind for scraps over and over again to get what we want out of it. Now that, but that's unfair to the casual players. Now we need to hamstring it, but still keep the grind in. You can see how these things led from one to another, right? It's like, we're going to put this in. Oh no, this has caused this problem. Go this way. Bring back AP system. THD, I will literally fly to Florida and come into your house and break your chair. Shut up. Just stop. Just stop. You've already ruined Svee's playthrough with your fucking three lock stacked Mythic Plus grind. Right? You give her a really authentic WoW experience. We seen you. Don't think like we didn't see. We saw. We saw what you were doing. We saw. Casual? <laughs> sick! My genuine hope here is, I do hold on to the hope, I really do, that without all the nonsense all over it, it's, it's a really fun game again, with really good raids and really good dungeons, and we can jump on alts and not have to piss about with them endlessly for 10 to 12 hours, and you can jump in with your friends, you can do whatever you want to do, you can mythic raid three or four times a week if you want to, because you don't have to fuck around with your alts or literally give up on existing outside of the world, uh, and go and play. That would be awesome. I just want to log in and play. That's what I want to do. So if that if that's it, that might be fine. Especially if the other stuff is fun. That might be really fine. <laughs> we saw you in the group, THD. We literally checked Steve. We saw you. You were witnessed. We witnessed you. Shiny and chrome. Shiny and chrome. Spires of Ascension. Saw you. Witnessed. Witnessed and seen. Getting my one weekly key. Look at all these excuses. Look at this. Dodging. <sighs> Fucking THD's like Neo. Woof. Wasn't me. You seem to be suffering from Sin's toxin still. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's funny. Like, I hope for just really fun gameplay in here. And then I pop over here. <laughs> and there's a stark difference in what's going on. <laughs> right? <laughs> There's a rather stark difference as we praise the holy tree. Apparently, we now worship the holy tree. <clears throat> but I still prefer WoW's gameplay. I mean, that's not going to change. That's not going to change. We'll see. We'll see. Six months, though. That feels fast. Could be. I mean, it could be. It could be. I might be huffing all the copium in the world here, but the fact they're not having to develop all that extra bollocks that they've been piling into the expansions from years and years and years and fucking all these systems might have made it so I could just make some really good content and they had to work on a talent tree and, like, that's it. That could be the case. It could easily be the case. It's like, in fact, this is dead easy. All we have to do is the talent trees and that's it. 
Everything else, we could just focus on making cool content. Uh, we can make these, because I think the savior will be whatever these zone reputation things are. I think that'll be the savior for the casual players. If they can focus into making that really, really fun and something you want to do, even though it doesn't reward power, that could be really cool. As like, if it's, it's just a list of 20 dailies that you do every day and then you, you're done. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh. Do you still believe in Blizzard? Uh, I believe in the developers. Like, I, I can't stress enough. Every time I talk to the devs, every single time, I've had a quiet moment with them over a beer, over a drink, whatever. Where it's private, it's off the record, we're not making videos or anything like that. They are the most passionate, give-a-fuck people about World of Warcraft ever. They fucking love it. They absolutely love what they do, and they work so hard to try and make it as good as they can. Ultimately, some decisions are taken out of their hands. That happens. But the people making this content, I mean... The idea that somebody's going into work at Blizzard and trying to make something shit is so stupid. So stupid. That, oh, I, I really can't wait to make this awful system that I know players won't like. Now, ultimately, you do end up in that situation sometimes because you get overruled. And I know when, um, from talking to them, that like the Covenant discussion was a big topic internally. But the belief was, people are going to fucking love this Covenant shit, dude. They're going to love making this choice. They're going to make their own choices. They're not going to follow some meta. They're, going to, they're not going to care that this spell does a quarter of the damage of the other one. Or doesn't work at all with your spec. <laughs> they're going to love that. <laughs> Which is what happened, ultimately. Uh, but, you know, not every idea gets put forward. Doesn't even happen here. I have ideas, and the guys shoot me down on it, you know. That's the way it goes, you know. It'll be fine. They love RPGs. Yeah. Passion doesn't directly translate to actual good game? Of course not. No. There are lots of people who are very passionate about what they make, and it's fucking shit. Take it from me. I have made... Some awful fucking videos, but I was very passionate about making it. I tell you, I've made some tripe, some absolute bottom of the barrel garbage. But I can tell you now, I was very passionate about it, right? I was very, very passionate about it, but it was awful. It was absolutely awful. So, <laughs> like, it happens. You know what I mean? It happens. Of course it does. Being passionate about something does not guarantee quality. That is for damn sure in any scale. You know what I mean? How many of us have been really passionate about making, like, a cake and it's come out like the, the droppings of a dinosaur that also had diarrhea and also suffered from fucking bowel cancer and now it's all over the goddamn floor. It, it's, it's never even understood what it was supposed to be in the first place. It's, di it's alive now. It's a living, breathing, molten chocolate nightmare. But I was very passionate. I'd watched many YouTube videos. I knew what I was going to make. It was, in my mind, it was really good. It was really good. What actually came out at the other end, though, was... Yeah, something else. Something else. Ah, well, fingers crossed. Uh, my gut instinct is this is not good news. But at the same time, there's a chance this is because they've dropped all the nonsense that they've been able to just focus on making a cool game. So I'll go with that. I'll be optimistic. I'm not going to be Mr. Pessimistic. I'm going to be optimistic and say that this has made their lives considerably easier. And honestly, if the raid's good and the dungeons are good and the classes play well, that's kind of enough for me. I love WoW's gameplay. I always have. I fucking love WoW's gameplay. I have so much fun. I get to see so much cool shit. That if, uh, if that's there, cool. Cool. Well, yeah, ho hopefully. Uh, you'll be pessimistic for me. You can do that. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, would it be concerned if it was the last season expansion, but they're working on another season as well? Yeah. They had to develop Band-Aids every major patch last five years. I hope you have to do that. I honestly don't know. It, it's THD's here as well. Is the current patch similar to what we've had in the point three patches? Like where corruption got out of hand and classes were kind of really fun to play? And they made it so you could just get whatever. Have they done that in this patch? Because I only the only thing I know of is that they did the massive nerfs to the new raid recently. But are the classes really giga fun? 
like because they usually like they let everybody get really silly in the last patch that's what usually happens they let everybody get everything really silly it's not as crazy but fun but much more fun yeah that's fine not to I, I guess you don't want it to be as crazy to the point when the new expansion comes and it feels like someone chopped your legs off right because going from all that corruption and then you started shadowlands you were like <laughs> It was like your character had been rolled back three expansions. Like, that's terrible. That's never fun. I still remember when Ian lied to your face in the interview. Shadowlands won't be cut short like what he said. Uh, I, he's not lying to my face. He just has no intention of that happening. Right? He has absolutely no intention of that happening. He's not lying at the time. It's true.